So I'm familiar with Blanco uh, from Data Erasure and, and that sort of aspect, but uh, as we're, we're talking and the, the focus really for our event here is around the idea of intelligence. So a lot of the vendors that we're working with are introducing intelligence in one way or another into their products, whether um, you know that that is just to make the 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 task easier uh, to provide new insights um, or, or those sort of things. So, what is Blanco doing uh, in terms of bringing intelligence into their products? Data center processes focus a lot on um, automation, right? So you want to have a balance between keeping um, your compliance you know, in place and making sure you erase all the systems that need to be erased and sanitize them. But at the same time, you want to do that according to the standard, right? And you cannot leave room for uh, manual error, right? For, for user error. Um, and this presents you with a, with a bit of a challenge uh, to automate the fallback from this purge to clear, uh, which you know, would uh, take care of the scenario where if, if a drive or system could not support purge, at least you don't leave it out in the hands of a user to decide, okay, when to, to use uh, the next level down, which is clear, uh, and to not let him do that decision manually, but instead do that fallback automatically. Uh, now things get a bit more complex, and now we have uh, fiber channel drives that are sometimes external to the device, and these are, let's say, shared external drives that should not be erased, right? And now you have yet another condition or intelligence need to say, oh, actually, I don't want to erase these drives, right? Uh, so uh, so building on these needs and requirements, the way to uh, to, to solve this challenge, um, what we did at Blanco was to take a step back and create a more generic uh, solution and not an innovative solution, in my opinion, which is uh, with the introduction of intelligent uh, business routing workflows. Uh, so just as the name suggests, the, this is a workflow. Uh, and the idea behind it is that it will you would take the um, general actions that you could take throughout the erasure um, and have them into individual components and then chain them together to create you know, a visual process um, with rules to follow throughout the erasure, right? Um, so take the example of the um, the detection piece, right? The um, uh, serial number detection, like right? so that can be an input for you to decide if this system is indeed a system that should be erased or not, right? And then the next step would be throughout the uh, the drive type, right? So based on the drive type, I can decide if I want to erase this drive or not, and if I do, then what sort of erasure standard to to use, and if if and if that drive fails. Now, what should I do next, right? So the idea behind it is to make it completely automated, yet to uh, to satisfy the the compliance needs. So then the idea is really to you know create this task. So I, as the the IT worker, uh, doing you know get, uh, or de we've decommissioned something. Uh, I basically would just kick off the process. I don't need to necessarily provide more information than some basics. You know, whether it's a bare drive, whether it's uh, a storage system, whether it's a LUN, and then that logic will have been built. So my end result is, you know, I, I've got what I need and I also know my next step. Absolutely, absolutely. So you design your, your process exactly, and then this automation or this intelligence would take care of, of, uh, of uh, following it, right? Um, and I can in fact show, show this in action if, if, uh, if it helps, right, to get the, uh, the, the idea. Yeah, no, that'd be great. That'd be yep. great. Can you, can you go ahead and show us? So let's take the example that we mentioned that I mentioned earlier, right? Say um, I wanted to um, to to erase my SSD drives uh, in a certain way um, and my HDD drives in a different way, right? So first, all I have to do really is just add a um, it's the wrong one. Add a condition, uh, which is here, um, and then. Um, chain my booted. So this is basically saying that's the booted action. So this is the first step, right? The machine just started. It's it's up and running, right? So the next, I want to check uh, add a condition and I can have is SSD, right? So what this is checking is basically is my drive an SSD or not, right? 
And if it is an SSD, then it will fall out of the green right path. And in that case, let's say I want to erase my SSD with a um, NIST, let's say, um, NIST, NIST purge uh, eraser, right? And then if, if it's not an SSD, then I would maybe want to do a uh, do an a periodic sort of erasure. And then, of course, again, chain this action to something else later on, right? So I can say if, it, if my SSD drives fails that, um, you know, that purge erasure, then maybe I want to display a, um, a pop up to the user and say, say something to the user to say, please check cable connection as an example, right? Um, so yeah, and you can go really, really deep with this um, and in a way cover all of your compliance needs. Yeah, and, and thank you. Actually, as you started to go through it, one of the first things I was thinking about was, you know, can you add that user interaction at any point? I was kind of thinking from the other standpoint, maybe the goal was to repurpose, but you know, so we won't necessarily do a, 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 a as secure kind of a race because it's just internal use, let's say. Um, but, you know, we had an error condition that might say that there's some underlying issue. And so now we can't reuse because we can't, you know, can't do this. So we, now we need to go do a, 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 a more complete purge um, uh, of that because now we have to pull that drive out of production, which means we need to s dispose of it and doing some kind of user confirmation that says, hey, you know, this is what I found. Do you want to go through with this process or do you want to do something else? But you you added an example without even prompting for it. So perfect. So you're going to have a, a strong need for automation like this in um, big uh, data centers that also are maybe uh, co-located, right? So you might have identical servers next to each other, but one belongs to, to a, an entity and another one belongs to a different entity. One of the most common conditions uh, is actually to uh, to check based on that serial number if that server has been cleared for erasure, right? And this could be uh, a check as simple as inputting a list of approved serial number for erasure here, or it uh, it, it could even be, and this is another uh, tool in our toolbox, to make a uh, an external API call directly from the workflow, right? So what what this does here is it it has the ability to query say uh, an asset management system right and say hey um, I have uh, I am Blanco and I detected uh, this machine is this machine cleared for erasure and even better what sort of instructions do you have for me for the erasure right should I be doing a NIST purge should I be doing clear should I be doing an SSD uh, erasure right um, and this way we have this an automatic uh, or automated safeguard to prevent us from erasing things that should not be erased, right? But at the same time, to also guarantee that we're erasing the stuff that needs to be erased. And as importantly, you've you've got the documentation that goes along with that, whether that's just the, uh, obviously the workflow itself to a certain extent, these are the steps that we were taking. Uh, these are the outcomes of decision points. And then when we get to an erasure, if that's warranted, how the erasure was completed and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, this is, that's a very good point uh, because well, on, 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 both, on both sides of the equation, so let's say on, on creating the workflow, the opposite are right, we have this fully documented and we even have sample workflows or let's say templates, right? To allow you to, um, to cover the most common cases. And we also have um, experts that can even help create the right one for your process, right? So that's something that that uh, that we we are that it's offered. And then on the second, on this uh, last part of that, um, once a device has gone through the workflow uh, on that erasure certificate that we produce, we actually trace back all the steps that the device has taken, right? So that offers a sure way to go back and and review not only was like, you know, the binary state, was this device erased or not, but at the same time review what journey it took, right? Did it go through all the safety checks uh, and all of and through all the requirements? Well, Dia, uh, thanks for taking time with us today, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Likewise, thank you for having me, guys. Thank you.